be good is and then today I want to share about this okay this is a KD8003 okay so this KD8003 they connected to this KTKK so KTKK they have a multiple number over here so before that you once you connected this rice for a 5 cable you make sure on the behind here they have a node id you have to select your node id one to have a to do a configurations okay so you done we done the pass done it over here so this is outdoors this is indoor version so like that will configure i click this one of this one of this will be ring click this one of this also will be ring Okay, so we back to the PC because this have to evolve to configuration on the PC view. Okay. Okay, so we back to this PC view. So we oh, we run this SSDB to order to activate the device. Okay. So we take over the this outdoor station. We activate the device. Okay, so we change the IP address. Okay, once we done this, we done another the indoor dish as well. So we put the IP address. So we we also uh, uh, activate another device again. Okay, so we done over here already. So now the thing already uh, done. So one thing we have to ensure we have to go to the, this one ninety one sixty one zero four eighty to do the adding a device. Okay, we enter the, those this uh, outdoor station. So we come to the device management. So the device management here they have uh, add import export and synchronize and refresh over here. So we place add. So the add they require password, registration password, serial number, IP address, subnet, gateway, and floor number and room number. So we make sure that we have a room number and also the serial number. So we have to make sure those IP address first. So we back to the those here again. So let's say I create a here. So for the 81 IP, for 81 IP, I have to 81. So we, the serial number will be Q1672. Okay, so this is running this IP. Okay, so another one is this serial number Q5545. Blah, 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 Okay, and the IP address will be 82. So it's done ready. We have to verify here. So we back to the our the video over here. Okay. Okay, we back to our this real life. Okay, the device ready done activation. So my serial number six seven two. This is a serial number six seven two. So this will be my first installation the room number one so I don't need to change anything over here so we back over here so we're going to the settings going to the uh, config set, set uh, configuration part here going to configuration we input the password and I guess e m i n one two three okay once it's done I click OK so the room you enter the room information room number you change to two so we back 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 over here again so the room number number two okay so it's done over by this real life part okay so we back to the our PC view
Okay, so the the number already done. So this will be number one, and this will be this number two. So we back to this uh this device management here. We click a refresh. We add in the information. So password I usually are using back this. Okay, the serial number. So I put this serial number. I place over here, and this is the IP address. One one. Okay, so it's done. Adding over here. So we show offline, but never mind. We go into the second device. So it's the serial number on the second. So IP address. Number one and room number two. Okay, once we press OK, it's done over here. So we take a refresh over here. So it's done ready. So we think the information or 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 going to inside ready. So we click over here. We click the synchronize. So we enable the synchronize. Okay. So success. So this is how self success. So we waiting for this. Few minutes. We click refresh, so all the information already get into it. So they running the configuration by its own. So there are nothing to do over this part already. So we just waiting until the network status online. So we going back to another page and coming back to this page to have a refreshment. Okay, so I click refresh. So now this already online. So it's done already. This part we we back to the our this real life sessions. Okay, so the real life session I already done this part already. So now we are going to test it. So once I press this for number one, this is for number two. So we click over number one. The number one keypad will be ringing. Okay, so I just press. Able to call, hello, and able to unlock the door. Okay, so now I test the number two. I click this number two. The number two keep it ringing. So I just uh click I hello and able to unlock the door. So this is how we able to do on this part lah. Okay, thank you for for your time and please like and subscribe to my channel.